Euphemism for kiss. I'm trying to use kiss as a verb, but with non-romantic connotations. I wanted to express someone's reverence and longing after another person, in a context like. In spirit, he was underscore, something instead of kissing, the footsteps of his father. When I searched Google for euphemism for kiss, I got much more specific results that were not at all euphemistic. When I searched kiss something holy, I did find something like holy kiss and the kiss of peace which make it closer to what I need, but these do not work in my context, I need a verb, not a noun. I don't mind if it is archaic or has religious connotations. I think something in that area would fit my context just fine. I don't think I've ever seen or heard the idiom kiss someone's footsteps in English, although apparently it's not completely unknown. However, there's a rather similar idiom kiss the ground someone walks on which is in fairly common use. And you don't need any kind of synonym or euphemism for the word kiss in it, it already connotes exactly what you seem to want, namely complete and total adoration for someone. While that adoration could in some cases be romantic, that's not the primary connotation, and usually it would be clear from context what specific kind of feelings the idiom describes. That said, if you still don't like the word kiss, there's also worship the ground someone walks on, which carries essentially the same meaning and is also in fairly common use. So you could use that instead. No, worship someone's footsteps is not a common idiom in English either. For you, here's a quick comparison of the relative frequencies of these idioms, courtesy of Google Books and Gram Viewer. As you can see from the graph, in modern usage worship the ground someone walks on seems to be the most common of these idioms, with nearly four times as many results as the second most common one, kiss the ground someone walks on. However, it looks like kiss someone's footsteps may have enjoyed some popularity back in the 1800s, although the paucity of data from that far back makes the results unreliable and worth taking with a pinch of salt. In particular, looking at the actual search results briefly, the peaks back in the early 1800s seem to arise mainly from single essays or poems that were reprinted several times, and not all of them seem to actually use the idiom in the sense you want. One poem, for example, speaks of waves that kiss his footsteps with the rising spray. I believe the poster is a translator, so he will. I hope, understand that it is often necessary to discard completely the form of words of one language when expressing an idea in another. Honoring the spirit slash life slash works of his father. Seems to me an acceptable way of expressing the idea in English, straightforward but quite elegant. If something of greater reverence is really needed, embracing has the quasi-religious, quasi-romantic duality of kiss. Quite what to embrace is another matter. Spirit? Example? You choose. Worship. To feel an enduring reverence or regard for, any person or thing. This URL. Venery. To regard and treat with reverence, revere. This URL. Revere. To regard with respect tinged with awe. This URL. A euphemistic, or rather, an indirect approach would be using the verb reach. It has the physical touch sense in one of its senses and it is more suitable than the verb touch also, because touch is strongly associated with touching with hands or fingers. Moreover, reach can be used figuratively where your context has that semantic blur as well, smudged with different senses. Here is the relevant transitive sense of the verb reach in a citation from OED. To succeed in touching or grasping, a person or thing, especially with an outstretched hand or something held in it. Also figurative with immaterial object out if I could but reach that hand. 1858c. Kingsley Poems 113. Incidentally, the verb reach was used with the meaning to give a kiss in the past, however, it is obsolete now per OED. Transitive. To give. A kiss. Obsolete. Rare. 
Note, you can also find usages like reached your lips, reaching my lips etc. Thanks to all your suggestions, I understood that. I have to let go of footsteps. I can use venerate, as it is used with relic. Someone venerating the saint's relic can kiss or touch the glass case that houses the relic, or simply stand near the relic in a prayerful attitude, raising one's heart and mind to God and invoking the intercession of the saint. Source instead of footsteps I can use footprints. Venerating someone's footsteps is a rare gesture, I understand, but it does exist across several cultures, as this Google search shows. It may be that this gesture was used more in earlier centuries of Christianity. In English I found an example in William Rees's Memoirs of the Late Rev. W. Williams of Wern, 1846, page 49. There are hundreds here who cherish towards his name the warmest affection, and who venerate his very footprints out of gratitude to God for sending him hither. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.